Pluto is a far-off and baffling midget planet that was once an individual from our planetary group's planetary family. Anyway, late alarming declarations by driving astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They recommend that this frosty world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. Yet how might this at any point occur, and what might be the results of such a huge event? Are we seeing an intriguing galactic peculiarity? Or is there something else to this looming astronomical crash? Join us as we investigate the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune influence. Pluto, a previous planet that was downgraded to a diminutive person planet, somewhat because of its exceptional circle, remains a subject of interest and study in the galactic community. As indicated by ongoing forecasts by leading researchers, Pluto's direction is perilously near Neptune's. Driving astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm of a potential dangerous impact between these two planets that could be a tremendous danger to Earth. How is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's excursion around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our nearby planet group. It takes a stunning 248 years to finish a single circle. This means that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full transformation. Yet the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's way is marked by its profoundly curved shape, straying significantly from the near-round circles of the significant planets. What makes Pluto's circle much more impossible to miss is its tendency, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The way Pluto follows is much more extreme compared to the other planets. This tendency and circular nature add layers of intricacy to its orbital pattern. Quite possibly one of the most captivating parts of Pluto's circle is its convergence with Neptune's way. For around 20 years in each circle, Pluto actually draws nearer to the Sun than Neptune, resisting what we could anticipate from their positions in the planetary group. This prompts the normal inquiry. Why hasn't Pluto slammed into Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational impacts of different planets. The investigation of Pluto's circle began not long after its discovery. Initially, stargazers attempted to figure out its unique direction. Dissimilar to different planets whose circles lie generally near the ecliptic plane, Pluto's way stuck out with its lofty tendency and curved shape. The secret extended with the acknowledgement that Pluto's circle actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's circle amid these intricacies is confirmation of the complexities of space mechanics. The three-body issue in space is tied in with sorting out how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like attempting to anticipate where they will go in light of where they start and how they pull on one another. For Pluto's situation, this issue shows how its path, Neptune's way, and the sun's gravity all cooperate in a complicated manner. The terms alpha libration and scope libration alongside the VK swaying are part of this riddle. According to astrophysicists, what's keeping all planets in their circles is a peculiarity called alpha libration. With regards to Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's circle, it's situated no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial partition is vital in keeping their ways from impacting. Scope libration, on the other hand, alludes to the vertical development of a heavenly body in its circle. For Pluto, this implies that when it comes nearest to Neptune or some other giant planet, it's arranged fundamentally over their orbital plane, giving an extra layer of security from potential crashes. Another essential part in this situation is the VK swaying, named after three researchers, Bon Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who concentrated on how things move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. For Pluto's situation, VK helps us comprehend the reason why its way around the Sun is so uncommon. Despite the fact that Pluto's way appears to be out of control, this wavering aids keep it moving easily from now onward, indefinitely. The VK swaying shows that regardless of whether things in space appear to be wild and arbitrary, a few examples and rules keep everything all together. All of these parts assist with keeping Pluto's circle stable, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or get lost course. This three-body issue helps in understanding how these ways change in light of the manner in which these space objects pull on one another. Concentrating on this makes a difference us learn about Pluto, 
our nearby planet group, and far-off universes and their stars. Mathematical reenactments in the last part of the 1980s uncovered that regardless of these stable properties, Pluto's circle is in fact turbulent, with deviations in starting conditions prompting critical contrasts over huge numbers of years. Anyway, these interesting properties of Pluto's circle have been found to maintain solidness over extraordinarily lengthy timescales, effectively keeping the tumult under control. Late PC tests have assisted us with grasping how the huge planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's way around the Sun. Neptune has a unique association with Pluto, where for each two rounds Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune makes three. This association helps keep Pluto's way consistent. However, Neptune isn't the only one to focus on. Jupiter's gravity likewise plays a large part in protecting Pluto's circle. What's more, Saturn helps significantly too. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is sufficiently able to ensure Pluto stays on a steady way for a truly lengthy time span, even billions of years. So, it resembles Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are cooperating to ensure Pluto continues to move securely in space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are fundamental in the setting of the universe for keeping up with the request and consistency of celestial bodies' movements. Without these components, the nearby planet group, as we probably are aware it, would be a position of a lot more prominent confusion and unconventionality. Bodies like Pluto might actually slam into others or be catapulted from their stable ways, prompting a cascading type of influence on other divine bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discusses it potentially colliding with Neptune later on, understanding its circle is truly significant. This gives us a more clear image of the planetary group's dynamic nature. The instance of Pluto illustrates how even the most apparently shaky circles can accomplish a condition of balance through the complex interaction of gravitational powers and orbital mechanics. It additionally shows the significance of consistent perception and investigation of these peculiarities to all the more likely grasp our spot in the universe. Investigating the profundities of space frequently drives us to face the erratic nature of heavenly bodies, and Pluto's circle is a great representation of this capriciousness. The idea of orbital mayhem, which alludes to the delicate reliance of a divine body's way on its underlying conditions, is strikingly represented in the instance of Pluto. This implies that even slight varieties in the bantam planet's position or speed can essentially shift its drawn-out direction in the huge breadth of our nearby planet group. Pluto involves a one-of-a-kind place that challenges how we might interpret planetary characterization and elements. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has gone through broad review, prompting critical disclosures about its organization and conduct. Quite possibly of the most intriguing highlight of Pluto is its surface, which is a mind-boggling embroidery of ice, rock, and different mixtures. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, gave uncommon information about this far-off world. The outer layer of Pluto is described by enormous fields, transcending mountains, and profound valleys. One of the most eminent highlights is the Sputnik Planum, a huge heart-formed plane that is principally made out of nitrogen ice. This region features a different exhibit of land highlights, including enormous ice sheets and what seem, by all accounts, to be streaming ice sheets. The presence of these elements demonstrates that Pluto might in any case be topographically dynamic, regardless of its perfect distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another interesting aspect of Pluto is its air, created primarily of nitrogen with hints of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's air is slim, yet it displays captivating occasional varieties. As Pluto approaches the sun in its prolonged circle, its environment can extend and contract. This powerful way of behaving is a reflection of the many-sided relationship among Pluto and its current circumstance. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the air gases might freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate once again into the atmosphere. The collaboration between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds intricacy to the system. Charon is somewhat enormous compared to Pluto, with a diameter about a portion of that of Pluto itself. This size proportion means that both bodies are in a shared circle around a point in space that lies between them, instead of Pluto just pivoting around Charon. This novel relationship adds to the mind-boggling gravitational elements in the area, affecting the circles of different objects in the Kuiper belt. 
The Kuiper Belt, a region past Neptune populated with little frigid bodies, is home to numerous other bantam planets and potential impactors. This belt is a supply of old material from the early planetary group, furnishing researchers with a brief look into its development. Pluto's orbital attributes could offer bits of knowledge into the relocation examples of these far-off objects, proposing that interaction with larger planets might have played a significant role in shaping their current circles. One of the vital ramifications of grasping Pluto's orbital elements is the expected effect on our appreciation of the planetary. Group's advancement. The gravitational impacts from adjacent giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can change the directions of more modest bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such collaborations can result in shifts in circles, possibly driving to impacts or launches from the planetary group. As analysts proceed to investigate the subtleties of these communications, they might reveal more extensive designs that oversee the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the cosmos. The investigation of Pluto likewise raises philosophical inquiries regarding characterization in cosmology. The choice to rename Pluto as a bantam planet in 2006 was questionable, lighting discussions about what comprises a planet. The Worldwide Galactic Association's definition zeroed in on standards, for example, orbital predominance and size, passing on numerous to consider the ramifications of such groupings. This progressing exchange mirrors our evolving comprehension of the universe and highlights the requirement for an adaptable way to deal with ordering divine bodies. Additionally, the potential for future investigation of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With progresses in innovation and mission arranging, researchers imagine sending extra rockets to study not just Pluto but also other far-off objects that share its orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable information about the primordial materials that molded our planetary group, potentially offering signs to the starting points of life on Earth. The role of exoplanets, or planets beyond our planetary group, is another interesting area of study that converges with how we might interpret Pluto. As stargazers find a developing number of exoplanets, especially in the livable zones of their stars, the examples gained from contemplating our own planetary group can illuminate speculations about planetary arrangement and tenability. The conditions that take into account stable circles, environmental maintenance, and geographical action could provide insights into the potential for life somewhere else in the universe. At long last, open interest in Pluto has endured, filled by its baffling status and the staggering pictures sent back by the New Horizons mission. The Bantam planet has caught the creative mind of individuals around the world, moving a re-established appreciation for the boundlessness of space and our place within it. As we keep on unwinding the mysteries of Pluto and the divine bodies that share its region of space, we are helped to remember the vast miracles that the universe has to offer. Do Pluto's one-of-a-kind qualities stretch out past its actual properties and circle? It additionally fills in as a basic contextual investigation for grasping planetary development and the elements of heavenly bodies. The arrangement of Pluto is accepted to have happened in the early planetary group close by other Kuiper Belt objects. Concentrating on its composition can shed light on the circumstances pervasive during the planetary group's outset, potentially illuminating speculations about the development of earthly planets, including Earth. Late exploration proposes that Pluto may have a subsurface sea a finding that could adjust how we might interpret its geography and potential for facilitating life. Information from the New Horizons mission showed that a few regions of Pluto's surface, for example, the cold mountains, might be made out of water ice, which acts uniquely in contrast to regular rock under low temperatures. This disclosure welcomes further investigation into the chance of fluid water existing underneath its frosty outside, bringing up fascinating issues about the potential for life even in such outrageous conditions. Furthermore, Pluto's connection with its current circumstance can provide insights into barometrical science. The occasional changes in its dainty air offer a characteristic research facility for concentrating on atmospheric elements on a planetary scale. Researchers are especially intrigued in how the interaction between sunlight-based radiation and the surface can prompt complex climate designs likened to those seen on larger planets. The significance of continuous observation of Pluto and other comparative heavenly bodies couldn't possibly be more significant. As more missions are arranged, like those focusing on the further reaches of the Kuiper Belt, we can expect an abundance of new data that challenges existing speculations and extends our comprehension of planetary science.
every revelation adds one more part to the riddle of our solar system's history and the cycles that govern its development. Through these examinations, Pluto remains an image of the consistent mission for knowledge about our universe, inviting both researchers and lovers alike to consider the secrets that lie beyond our natural domain.